doing today? Welcome once again to another episode of Monday Motivation. I'm your host, Avanti Uzo, and you already know it's time to share the word of encouragement with you. I hope you're doing very well, and I hope that you're keeping the faith. You know, that's one of the reasons why I try as much as possible by the grace of God to put out these videos every week. You know why? Just to make sure that you keep hearing the word of faith that will help you throughout the week. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Praise the Lord. Today, I want to share with you a topic that came to my heart as I was thinking about what I needed to share with you this week. And today, I'll share with you something I titled, His Will. I'll say that one more time. Today's topic is titled, His Will. You know, many times we have all these things that we want to do, you know. We have our plans, our goals, our vision. But you know, sometimes what you plan is not what you get. Like sometimes you make all these plans, but at the end of the day, you got to be willing to surrender yourself to his will every now and then, especially when you've done all you can. And you know, it feels like nothing is bulging, nothing is changing. Maybe it's time to surrender to his will. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me go ahead and read today's text scripture. Today, I'll be reading from the book of Matthew chapter 25, and I'll be reading from verse 36 in the King James translation. And it reads, then come at Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and wait with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Praise the Lord. You know, one of the things I love about Jesus, one of the things I love about Jesus is that he was 100% God, but at the same time, he was 100% man. He felt everything that we feel right now. So if you're in a place right now where you feel like really tired and you're like, oh my God, I can't do this no more. Guess what? Jesus felt the same way too in the Garden of Gethsemane. And can you believe that? Even though Jesus knew that his purpose was to come and die for us, at some point, he didn't want to do it. Ain't that something? Jesus literally was asking God, please, is it possible for this cup to pass over me? Like Jesus was literally negotiating with the Father. But one of the things I love is that he didn't stop there. He went ahead and said, nevertheless, not as I will, let your will be done. And you know what? I'm going to continue reading from where I stopped because this is so profound. I'm going to continue reading again from verse 40 and it says, And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter, Could thou not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing. But the flesh is weak. He went again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if this cup will not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Ain't that something? Like Jesus literally every single time was saying, God, please, can this cup pass over me? And came the second time saying, you know, if this cup is not going to pass over me, then let your will be done. And the Bible makes us understand that he did that again the third time. You know, even though it was very hard for Jesus, everything that he was passing through, he kept maintaining the same thing, saying, nevertheless, let your will be done. You know, sometimes we have to learn to trust the will of God. It is one thing for us to want something and want it so bad. But if it is not happening and we've been doing it over and over again, maybe it's time we give room for his will to be done. You know, sharing this with you makes me remember 
something that I experienced in my life a long time ago. So at that time, I was back in my country. I had just finished university and I wanted to switch homes because then I was living around the university. And since I was done with school, I wanted to move. But you know what? It was so difficult for me to find a place. I found so many places that I liked, but they were well over my budget. And I was trying to plan and say, okay, what am I gonna do? And then I found a place that I liked that was within my budget. But nevertheless, I couldn't get the accommodation for one reason or the other. So I kept trying other places over and over again. And at some point I was just tired and discouraged because everywhere I went that I liked, it was super expensive. The places that I found that I didn't like, those were affordable. And I was like, you know what? I'm done looking for a place. I remember vividly one day I went out, I had gone to so many places. I came back home and I was tired. And I remember just laying on my bed and I said, God, let your will be done. I'm tired, let your will be done. And I went to sleep. The next day, I received a call from that one place I said that I liked that was within my budget, but you know, they were asking for so many things that was gonna make it impossible for me to get the place. And they called me and they had waived all of those things and I was able to get the place. And that thing left such a solid mark in my heart. Like, I remember vividly telling God, let your will be done. And at the end of the day, God made it possible for me to move into that place that I liked. You see, many times we make plans and we, we have our hearts and our minds set on what we want. But today, I've just come to tell you to give room for his will, especially if you've done all you can. You've played your part. You've prayed, you've fasted, you've gone around, you've done everything that you need to do. Let's say, for instance, if you're looking for a job and you've put in your applications over and over again, and you're still putting in your application and there's this one job that you want and it's not coming through and you've just been pushing and knocking on that door this is the time for you to say father not my will let your will be done give room for his will i can tell you something for a fact that i know in this my little years of serving the lord that god's will is always good like god is not going to give you something that is bad so if you desperately want something and it's not coming through give room for his will if in his perfect way he wants you to have that thing he will make a way for you to have it or he will give you something that is even better i want to quickly read this verse of scripture that i love in the book of proverbs and this time i'm reading proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 in the new international version and it says many are the plants in a person's heart but it is the lord's purpose that will prevail while you have all your many plans Give room for the purpose of God. You know, be willing to say every now and then, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Look, I'm sharing today with you from a place of knowledge and personal revelation because I'm literally at this point again in my life. There's something I'm talking to God about that I've been seeking his face about. And right now I'm like, God, not my will, let your will be done. And you know, every time I pray that prayer, God has never failed me. So I don't want you to think that, ah, you don't understand. Like I want this thing, I cannot afford to pray that prayer. What if peradventure, what I want is not the will of God. Well, you gotta be willing to surrender yourself to his will. Look at what happened to Jesus. Jesus could have decided not to die. And you know, God would have still brought salvation to us one way or the other, and that's the truth. But nevertheless, Jesus committing himself to die, going to the cross, bearing all that pain. Look, look at what he did. All of us can call upon his name right now. His name has been highly exalted above all other names. Like Jesus is a superstar, if you want to put it in layman's terms. There's nobody that doesn't know Jesus. There's so much power in the name of Jesus. There's authority in the name of Jesus, all because Jesus was ready to do God's will against how he humanly felt at that time. Remember, he was not God. He was 100% man as well. So he felt every single pain, yet he did it for you and I because he knew that God's will were far better than his will. So be ready to give room for his will in your life today. 
and you will never ever be disappointed in jesus mighty name amen and that is how i come to the end of today's episode of monday motivation i hope you've been blessed i always encourage you to share this video because i try as much as possible not to come on here and just share from my head or share some sense knowledge I try as much as possible to allow the Lord inspire everything that I come on here and share with you so that somebody can be blessed. And I always know that when I make these videos, that it is for somebody. Somebody needs to hear this word. So please go ahead and share. You might just be bringing relief and hope and restoration and trust to somebody's heart right now who needs to know that it's time to allow his will be done in their lives. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you know when the new video is uploaded. And do follow me on all my social media platforms at Avanti Uzo. Until I see you again, remember, not your will, but his will be done. Keep winning and bye for now.